Fundamentals of Magento Development, Unit 6. Fundamentals of Magento Development, Unit 6. In this module, we introduce you to Admin HTML, focusing on Admin and Admin Controller, and System Configuration. The Admin HTML function of Magento 2 allows merchants and their staff to manage all Magento entities, such as products, categories, price rules, orders, and so on. It also provides a rich interface for configuring your Magento installation. Here is the admin function in Magento 2. In this unit, we will discuss the admin architecture, specifically grids, forms, system configuration, and ACL. All admin controllers extend the Magento Backend App Action class, which in turn extends Magento Backend App Abstract Action, and the latter extends the standard Magento Framework App Action Action. Each admin controller has to extend this class, Magento Backend App Action, in order to provide backend specific functionality, such as secret key processing and ACL mechanism implementation. Grid is a UI component that represents a list of records for a specific entity. Forms are used to allow editing of a specific entity. They are represented by UI components as well as grids. There is a highly customizable page in Magento 2 where a merchant can add any configuration options required for the installation. All related values will be stored in a database and can have different scopes, global, website, store. As this page is used by the merchant, not a developer, all the available options should be clearly presented. Options that a developer would modify should only be in the XML configuration. In this module, we will discuss in detail system configuration, menus, and ACL permissions, including repositories, search criteria, and business logic API. System configuration in Magento 2 allows you to quickly and easily set up form elements to configure your system and custom modules. The System Configuration page in Magento 2 provides a list of available options. Here are some important things to note. Configuration options are for the merchant, so technical aspects that the merchant may not understand are not included. For example, the order of calculating totals for a shopping cart is technical information and is not presented in System Configuration, while the order of displaying totals is included. Every configuration option value from this page is stored in a database, unlike XML configuration. The corresponding table is core underscore config underscore data. Configuration options can be scoped on a global, website, and store level. Scope changing is possible by selecting a scope in the top left dropdown of the page. All configuration options are previously declared in a special configuration file, system.xml. Option names consist of three parts, section, group, field ID. For example, the locale option presented on this slide will have the name general, locale, code. On this page, we can see a typical configuration for the system configuration. Let's explore its structure. First of all, configuration is located in Etsy, admin HTML, system.xml. 
Its XSD schema is located in Magento, Config, Etsy, System underscore file dot XSD. Two types of second level nodes are available in the System.xml file, tab, and section. In the tab node, you can define a new tab for the configuration. The example on the slide demonstrates the catalog tab definition. The section node is where most of the options are described. It defines 1. which tab the section belongs to, in this case catalog, and 2. the resource, ACL resource and group. The section node also has a name, second level after tab. Group provides third level option groupings after tab. It is only displayed on the right side of a page, not the left side, called an accordion. Each group belongs to the section it is declared in, as does the tab, has its own label, and has a list of fields. Field is actually an option in itself. It might have different scope defined by the field node attributes discussed later. Each field has its name, ID attribute, label, label, child node, and type, type attribute. You can also optionally include other child subnodes like source model and front end model. They will be covered later in the course as well. Let's go deeper into the structure of system.xml. On the slide, you can see the following field node attributes. ID, a field name. It is a third part of an options name, after section and group. Translate, a standard translation attribute. It defines which child node to translate. Type, defines which kind of control has to be used to render an option. On the next slide, you will see the available types. Sort order, the order inside an accordion. Show in, defines a scope. Can restore, shows use system value checkbox next to the field value, which lets you use system value instead of the defined one. Example, if show in default equals 1, show in website equals 0, show in store equals 0, the option will be global and will not be visible on the website store level. If show in default equals 1, show in website equals 1, show in store equals 0, the option will be visible on default and website scopes, but its scope will be website, which means you can define a default value, but then you can redefine the value on the website level. Here is a list of standard field types. For non-standard fields, you can use the front-end underscore model child node, which is described later. The slide shows a list of all the available field node children. The list is taken from an XSD file, Magento, Config, Etsy, system.underscore.file.xsd. Note the following. Label, the visible name of an option. Comment. Text written in a small font below an option input. For example, catalog, storefront, products per page on grid allowed values. A comment is comma separated. Tool tip. Draws a small question mark which shows a message on mouse hover. For example, see general, design, design theme, user agent exceptions. It is defined in Magento, backend, Etsy, admin HTML, system.xml. Hint, not used in the native Magento. Frontend underscore class. CSS class to assign to the option. For example, general, store information, country. Defined in Magento, backend, Etsy, admin HTML, system.xml. Frontend underscore model. Used to define custom content for an option will be discussed in more detail later in the course. Backend underscore model. A class which allows an action to be performed when an option is saved. For example, class magento config model config backend email address. Source underscore model. Used to provide a list of values for select type configuration values. Config underscore path defines an alternative path to the option instead of the standard three levels path. This alternate path is used to save an option in a database. For example, Magento, PayPal, Etsy, MNHTML, 
system.xml merchant underscore country field validate CSS class used for validation for example general store email addresses custom email one sender email defined in magento backend module can underscore be underscore empty flag which defines whether an option can have no value if underscore module underscore enabled a condition that defines an option only when particular modules are enabled base underscore url used for image type fields button underscore url more underscore url specific properties in the native magento used in the paypal module demo underscore url not used in the native magento button underscore label a specific property used only with a custom front-end model for example in the paypal module hide underscore in underscore single underscore store underscore mode a property that defines whether a field should be available for a single store mode for example price underscore scope doesn't make sense in such a mode upload underscore dir use for image type fields source underscore service not currently used in magento depends defines other nodes on which this node depends for example see magento paypal etsy admin html system express underscore checkout dot xml attribute allows the definition of a custom fields attribute for example see magento paypal etsy admin html system express underscore checkout dot xml and magento paypal block admin html system config api wizard dot php requires makes a field available only if another field or group is activated for example look at the paypal module magento paypal etsy admin html system express underscore checkout dot xml Here is a code example of a source model configuration. As mentioned earlier, the source model is used to provide a list of available values for drop-down type configuration options. On the next slide is an example of such a model implementation. Here we can see an example of a source model. The main goal of these classes is to provide a list of available options for select type configuration fields. A class has to implement Magento Framework Option Array Interface, which requires the implementation of the ToOptionArray method. This method should return an array of values and labels in the format shown. Note that the double underscore is now a global function that provides translation. The code provides an example of a front end model configuration. A front-end model is used to render a custom element for a field. Here is an example of a front-end model implementation. You can see that it extends Magento config block system config form field, which itself extends Magento backend block template. Note that the overwritten underscore get element HTML method generates the quote-unquote value part of an option or control. You can better understand how the front-end model works by looking at the render method defined in the Magento config block system config form field class. The highlighted code shows which methods can be overridden in the front model and what effect that would have. See the code example in your guide. See your course exercises guide for instructions on how to complete this exercise and its solution. The menu in Magento 2 is located on the left side of a page. This is done to simplify access to a menu from a tablet or smartphone.
Menu is configured by the file menu.xml. The code example shows how to typically add a new menu item using an add directive. You should specify its name, the ID attribute, the module it belongs to, a visible title, and an ACL, a resource attribute. See your course Exercises Guide for instructions on how to complete this exercise and its solution. The ACL system in Magento 2 has the following structure. Each admin user is assigned a certain ACL role. Each role is assigned access to a specific set of resources. ACL verification is implemented on the controller level using the underscore is allowed method. The code presents an example of an underscore is allowed method. You must implement this method for ACL verification to work. This code example is taken from the Magento catalog module. This image shows the admin user creation and management screen. Here is an ACL roles tree. The list of available resources is defined in an ACL.xml configuration file. This code provides an example of an ACL.xml from the Magento catalog module. See your course Exercises Guide for instructions on how to complete this exercise and its solution. Congratulations! You have completed Unit 6. Close this window to return to the Learning Management System